Right, hello everybody. Let's give this a shot again. <laughs> right, so we did have a video up there and it was telling you basically uh, what had been going on, what had been happening and the story behind it and all and tying it all together for you. What I will do is I'll actually wait to the end and let you see all that. Now, there is one area in the game where um, there is a really, really, really cool little thing um, but I can't actually go to it because I'm suffering with the whole game stall crash lag problem that a lot of people have been suffering with and it is Prost in Prost bar uh, round in Boston Common there is a nice little sort of what uh, theater uh, Easter egg bit of information nice little thing for you so now what we're doing here is we're tan up all the loose ends of everything okay um, and at the end, um, I, I will sort of like explain a couple of little bits to you and all the rest of it. So, when we picked up all the journals, normally when I pick up journals or I find com uh, computer entries or everything else, I take my time, I read through them, blah, 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 blah. Idiot is me, I did not do this. I did it all off screen though, thankfully. So... And when I did it all off screen, I have worked out a few things. And namely, I believe we have had somebody take off from the vault and the person who has disappeared, uh, well, from the, the, yeah, from Fault 201 is Pavel. Pavel is not in there. Pavel is somewhere else. We are gonna go and find Pavel. Uh, we also have little Easter eggs around Poseidon Energy and a few other things. Now, anyone that plays Vault 201 black site e p epelius epelius do you know they're the best of it is people i actually speak greek and, uh, and i'm struggling here this is bad this is really really bad but anybody who actually finds that and you go downstairs and you'll come across a tunnel you walk along a tunnel and the tunnel is the most confusing Mind, literally, I was running in circles in it for 30 minutes. You'll see there's a doors on the right hand side of you or the left hand side. Depend what way you go. And you'll click on the doors, it says you require a key. If you click on it, it actually comes up and says you require the wiring something key. I can't remember the full name of it. That key is not actually available unless you actually do Vault 201 skeleton crew which is the mod we have been doing okay we did the other one first now we're doing uh vault 201 skeleton crew if you do skeleton crew you will have that key and you can bounce between the two mods okay because those two mods are actually tied together they are part of each other okay so one works hand in hand in it with the other but you can do them both independently you don't have to actually do them together if you don't want to all right so you don't have to i decided to do them all so now there are loads of ways in and out of that place as you have seen um it's the wiring channels basically and they will basically take in the 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 bse the black black site i uh, the black site <laughs> black site epi <laughs> or epi yeah that sounds better instead of me struggling to actually tell you what it is and sounding like you know really 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 right so we have a few places okay we have university point we've got something over at university point we have got something over here at beside an energy which is actually near to the broken the broken uh, smokestack okay and we've already been there We've been into the BSE. So we do have something over here as well. But you will discover that when you read through things and when you check out the map, I will be putting a link to the Modders Nexus page, which has all the maps up there for you. Um, when you check the map, you will discover things run as far as the Crater of Adam. This is a key piece of information. So I'm guessing there's going to be stuff over there too, but where we're going to go for first is we're going to go for University Point. We're going to check out University Point. 
Um, I am really sorry, guys, that I can't actually show you the bit of Prost. Um, I I will be uh, I will be checking the unofficial patch again and seeing if I can get things to run nice and smoothly for me. The unofficial patch is actually supposed to solve these problems of uh, crashing out and all the rest of it that Bethesda actually never got around to fixing themselves. So I will actually be checking it all and seeing if I can get it to run smoothly for us. But when I did have it enabled, um, I was still crashing out in, in certain areas and things like that. And although there were some bits uh, I, I, that, were, that were quite, oh, man, it's not, it's not happening. Excuse me, people. Give me a second, I'm out of cheat. Game alteration. Word manipulation. Weather. Let's clear the sky. Ah! Isn't that so much better? <laughs> right, so anybody that knows this place knows it actually used to be a railroad place and it was where the Senate or the not the Senate, the government that was trying to get itself back together. It's where dear dude, have your hat. Here, have your hat. Dude, I'm giving you your hat. That's just rude. Here, hold on to your hat. Um, it's where the Senate uh, or the, the provisional government met and all the rest of it and you know the Sims came in and wiped them out. Ooh, basketball. Anybody for basketball? <coughs> right, so there is something hidden here. I should probably go and help the, the boss against those Sims over there. Like, but I'll, go, I'll, go, I'll be shooting them all soon enough. So I'm not, not extremely worried. And the fact that the boss seemed to have an unending amount of other bugs that just love to crash a lot, so I, I'm just humping by him here. Ouch. Literally. The synth fails when you drop a plane on me. They literally just dropped the plane on me. Here. Ugly. have a gun that is actually perfect for killing synths and robots. Let me show you this. Right. Let's kill the synthoids first and then we will hunt through the place and see. I mean you are gonna get at least a good seven and a half, eight hours of playing time out of this mod. Um and it is uh, that there are like little tiny sort of questy bits that are not mar marked up, you know what I mean? So it, it is good fun and it is good entertainment. I would recommend it to anybody, you know what I mean? Give it a shot, guys and dolls. Um, I have well enjoyed it, I've had a blast. I have truly had a blast. Like, let's go kill these ones inside so we've got this place cleared out. And then we will go a hunting for what it is we have to go a hunting for. Yeah, I'll get around there in a second. It's too late, I've already gone in here to kill people. <laughs> uh. Hello, I'm 
I'm here to shoot you. Oh, bummer. I was actually stirring right out of time. The time I normally actually come here for the beacon. Is she fainting? Do you? Do you actually have pain sensors to feel pain? Do you know what pain actually is? <coughs> Sorry guys. Wolpus has decided to actually have a conversation with a dog across the road. Well, at the back. Yes, right beside me. I'm just an idiot. as much as they appear now. <laughs> After all the walls have been magically appearing recently. Yep, Michael, I've got to ask, what was with that mad labyrinth? The catacombs or whatever they were. That was insanity, magically appearing walls. I don't know how many times I said mama. But it was a lot. That really was insanity. Hello, Mirly Lurk. Hi. Hi. Establish this. I suck with an automatic. I actually do suck with an automatic. A viable blood sample. Right now, we have also discovered a slight problem with uh, our headset. I'm sure some people will be saying to me there's no game volume, and no there isn't. I just shot you lot. How can you hatch from something you were just shot from? Um, it seems to be a... Uh, it, it, it's a glitch and it's a problem within the Xbox. Because earlier on we had volume within the game and all of a sudden the volume disappeared on us. So it is actually uh, something going on with the Xbox. It has got nothing to do with uh, high-dive diamond volume. 
Um, that, it, it's, it's, I only know. I will, of course, work on trying to get it off. I have been hunting. I, all my sentences have been checked, guys. My sentences have not changed. I don't really know what has gone on or what's happened, but for some reason, I have no volume coming through except from the TV. Uh, there's no game volume coming through my headset the way it used to. Uh, there's literally nothing. So, Birch and Tule. Right. Somebody around here. Where is it? Hostile sensor reading detected. Die, 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 my darling. Are we done? That's just confusion. Why would you put exit over something that wasn't the exit? Yeah, I, I was well pleased with myself when I managed to find the exit. Sure fluke, I found the exit, but I was, I was, I was well happy with myself. Very proud of myself. Nice. Like, woohoo! I found the exit without meaning to. Go me. Oh, I know. I know. This is a Bethesda one. <laughs> right, explain to me, on the maps we have red dots and we have blue dots. Oh no, don't tell me what the hell just happened. What was that? What just happened? What the hell just happened there? <laughs> I thought like touching the computer and magically did something to do with your mod. It was like, what the hell? Look, watch this, watch this, guys and dolls. <laughs> now I just need one to kill teddy bears and one to kill, uh, what do you call them? Gnomes. Teddy bears and gnomes. And I will be a happy bunny. I really hope that what I'm looking for was not actually hiding beside that radio. Because <laughs> I will have just messed things up royally. Doesn't look like it. Okay. I'm sorry, but I'm surprised. There's a cola bottle. Get the junk out of my way. Go away. What? Nope. I want that to go away. Oh, that looks um, painful. Yes. One of these actually has the lock. Yes. No. No. 
how to sum stuff up well at the moment with the five finger test. Five finger for the five turn people. Let me show you how I'm having that hang there. It's going to hang out there. It's truly what I'm doing right now before I go upstairs and hunt the upstairs. This other Keegan. I'm so chuffed with myself. <laughs> Do you know how I got so good at this? Playing mods made by Groove and Madrox. That, that is truly how I got so good at this. Them two hide keys everywhere and anywhere. And this is how I actually got this. That's how I actually got so good at this. That's, 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 that's the true topic. I was asked to actually uh, post that through to you, by the way. I meant to actually do it and forgot all about it. Ah, right. So this you can actually hotkey uh, in your aid. If you'll find it under your aid, um, what it'll actually do is it'll uh, transport you in and out of the vault. So it's handy. It's your own little transporter. Right. Quite like the one that, you know, that. Uh, Thing. What's her face? What do you call her? What do you call her? Lee. Yes, that's her. Lee. Hamilton Lee. Nice one. Right, it is also immediate and it has a no checking error, right? Okay, so that's us done here. So our next place is Poseidon Energy. I'm well pleased with that one. Groove, you have taught me well. <laughs> I learned so well from Mads and Groove. Hiding stuff everywhere. Right, Poseidon Energy is next. That would be funny. That would be very, very, very funny. Right. I'll give me a second until I actually. South. Where is that north? I can't even see anything. Just 
screen is not moving. Aha, it's, it's, it's safe. Okay, perfect. Right, so if this channel is the right channel, I believe. And I don't know if it's actually up here or it's downstairs. Up here. The reason my bobber and my the butter, <laughs> the butter, literally the butter's here. We should actually change the, the, the daytime for ourselves or anything like that. There's a lot of water around here. Yeah, I think we should change the time. them. Right. South. Something floating um, in the south. Well, this is a big area, dude. And I can't go that way, apparently. I literally cannot go that way. Can't go that way. Okay. Gone very far par past the power station. That's just rubbish. You die. 
Although I should have been concerned about. Dude, if I have to walk you into a shot, I will walk you into a shot. Trust me. I'm remarkably actually deep here, sniper. I understand wind shear and everything else. I can walk you into things. First black side over there. Alright. Faltac Incorporated submersive container. Prototype serial number zero one. Congratulations on the engineering and construction staff for an incredible job. Well done. Submersive container. The hell? Is it hiding food in it or something? The hell did you get that open? <laughs> yeah, I just find out. <laughs> Gotta cut down the lag between the chat and what I'm saying, so what those guys and girls. Right, so our next one is uh, we're going for a trip. Oops. Our trip is to be this way. Oh, I want to open the back. Oh, bugger again. Guys, it was sucky weather. I really have to download a mod that actually gives me clear sky. <laughs> Word manipulation. Weather. Clear sky. Nah, 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 nah. Right. Uh, and then enter Where is the wrong click from here? There's a flight there, and there's a bird there. Don't actually know how to feel exactly. Is it actually in here? Here?
all to glorious division. Uh huh. And I'm gonna lead you to Parsons and Cien Asylum. Got a beautiful. Well, it's actually. I'm just passing through. Don't want any trouble. This is no place for the forsaken or untouched, merely passed through. You are. What? Mrs. You know Please, just swear. leave me. Be. To travel so far. Very well. You may stay for now. But know that we are watching. Violence. Whatever you say, Mrs. I'll bugger this guy's all locked up again. None will escape you. Oh, do he die? Well, fuck, do he is over two hundred? <laughs> he would be dead. I'm a spook. <laughs> it's like, oh, maybe I can have a conversation with him. Do he's dead? He's over two hundred. He's flat. He's a human, not a ghoul. Well, okay. It's been fifty years of struggle, but Adam has blessed. I am old and it is time for spiritual division. The vault and everything that happened was so long ago, but still ring fresh in my mind. The escape, the way it falls off, uh, my suit, and nearly dying from the ascent, trying to find my way back and being lost in the dark waters, wandering hungry and finding this home where Adam's glow keeps me warm and sated. The slow trickle of all the other blessed are arriving and making our new world out of the excess and the wastes of the previous, thriving on what the old world would have called its last fatal mistake, a blessing in disguise. It has been terrible and wonderful. And that, people, is prevail. And that's the guy's favorite of mission. And thankfully I didn't run into the whatever it was that you were going on about. Right, I believe our only place left, I think, I'm not 100% sure. Um, hold on a sec, I think it's... Mm -hmm. Is Lepus, whoever that le 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 Lepus, Lepus is, Lepus, yeah, Lepus. Yeah, I have no idea who Lepus is. But if I meet Lepus, I will kick Lepus's. Edith's bunker key. In my love of Rickroll. I am not getting Rickrolled again. Edith's bunker key. Oh, no, that's the wrong one. <laughs> I'm trying to read a bunker key. Uh, Here's the answer to the words that sound a little bit simple today. Fred, it has been 120 years since the bombs dropped 
and I know most likely long since past but Raven this makes me feel better I know I gave you no end of grief about the bunker when you were building it but I hope it makes you feel better now that we all survived a few years after I got caught in a radiation storm while looking for a trading post and ghoulified as they call it these days it took or it looks horrible but it's the reason I can write this thankfully that didn't happen to the kids as far as I know I've probably outlived them a few times over now it took ages to get used to how I look I look now but only a couple of days before they all realised I was still mama <coughs> they grew up and I told them to go out into the world and make their own ways and to remember us and not to try and come back often it's too dangerous around here after Cindy left I stayed a few years selling vegetables and offer offering shelter to lost kettles but I eventually created uh, my way up to a pack brahmin oh my goodness and that's why the bunker's empty and I'm not here I'm headed south to see what's left where I grew up and where we met so long ago rest easy dear Raven her letter box will definitely hurt to be here for more I really gotta download a mod for people that actually give me clear sky so I can stop with this incessant. <laughs> I don't know how anybody actually does anything in the glow and see if you can't if you don't have a mod. That's awful, isn't it, everybody? Uh, word. Uh, weather. Clear. Whoa. I just sort of turned everything pink. <gasps> we got pink sky. Now that rocks. That actually looks so cool. <laughs> oh, Sentinel, stay away from the moss. <laughs> you turned the sky pink. Wait, where was her house and where was her bunker? <laughs> Oh, there's the bunker. Oh, the pink sky's down off now. <laughs> that was perfect. Oh, I gave us a pink sky. As the closest the Commonwealth has seen to, uh, what do you call it? Oh, we got a workshop, people. As the closest the Commonwealth seen to a rainbow in a very long time. I just gave you all a rainbow. Or what's that day? Eh. Eh, nothing. Okay. <laughs> I see something sticking out of the box. What's that day? Recruitment beacon. This won't work without power. Yep, it can stay that way. I get things across and all that stuff. Okay. Did she take all her stuff with her? She took all her puck with her. People, she didn't even leave you as a babe. It's just despicable, like, isn't it? 
just wipe out the hell of a shelter. Is this a dude that went nuts and started quoting the Bible at people in Latin? No, it was one that drunk himself to death, wasn't it? Yeah, it was a dude that drunk himself to death. Ha 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 ha. Foxtrot Tango Press Game. FTW. Ha 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 ha. Very nice. Okay, uh, it's the NATO alphabet anybody that isn't aware of what Foxtrot Tango just is. Alpha, Beta, Charlie. Well, it's Alpha, Bravo, Charlie. Uh, what's the Bravo Charlie? Delta, Echo, Foxtrot, uh, Golf, Hotel. That's where the military and the police and all the rest of it I use to speak. Yeah, the dude that drank himself to death, I thought that. I'm not doing too, too bad so far. I've got all of your jokes except for this one. That one, I have no idea what that is. Ara, Araguma. I have no idea what that one is yet so far. I found two Easter eggs, I'm quite I'm quite chuffed with that one. Ah, there's two people doing the Foxtrot Tango, that's well good. That's brilliant. Ah, oh, raccoon flavoured. Oh man. Ah yeah, it's just Ming La Bing. Right. Next, 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 next. Around here. Right, fingers crossed this works for us, guys and dogs. So, you know, this works, you want to save here first. <laughs> so, says Christ, you're after I just don't do all that, I will not be happy. But I have that, I'm. I'm, I'm Unless you want to catch it. Yeah, I want to see what this lepus says. Come on, where's the lepus? Let's go hunt the lepus. And then we can go to the third reel. Let's catch a lepus, whatever a lepus says. Right, it's around the smokestack. Get me out of here. It's around the smokestack and the subcom. Okay. It's fast, it's flighty, so I can't say for try. Ah, well, we shall give it a try and see what we can find. Let's find the lepus. I can't believe I actually managed to turn the sky pink. That was a good one. Recently I've managed to do the most random of things. Right. Right, the BS entrance. And there's the subcom. It's around here somewhere. Oh my god! <laughs> I want a new companion, and you're it. I'm not gonna hurt you. I, I promise I will not hurt you. I want a new companion, and I want to call you Bugs, and I will feed you loads and loads of carrots. Would you like that? Would you like loads of carrots? I'll get you loads of carrots. Do you want loads of carrots? I'll get you loads of carrots. Aren't you just the cutest little thing? Yep, 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 yep. Sleepy dude. Give me a second, sleepy dude. I'll take care of these for you. Here you are, little leapy dude. Oops. Yeah, just 
you die there, sweetheart. It's just that, that this conversation had nothing to do with you. Ooh, Mirror Queen mate. Happy will be happy. What the? It's just a legion on them. Why are we not killing these eggs? Why are these eggs not dying? I will stop that. Leapy, Leapy, where'd you go? I killed them for you. Come back, little Leapy. Mm. Leapy went away. That's my new companion. I'll be, I'll be getting him. Leapy. Okay. I, I'm practically on top of Poseidon. Leapy, how's you got baby? How's you got eggs? Can I hatch a Leapy for myself? How did a Leapy have an egg? Leapy looks like a, ra a rabbit. Okay. I want a leapy. I've got a death claw now. I want a leapy. <laughs> I have the most random ideas of what actually makes a good companion. I wish my death claw could actually talk though. That would be so cool. I would change his name and instead of George, I would call him Buster. I mean, Buster. Where Leapy's gone away? Yeah, Leapy's gone into hiding. be rocked. Right. I am not going through those tunnels again. <laughs> no hell way, no way. So we're going to do this. Oh, actually, we'll have to go somewhere else first, don't we? I nearly forgot about that. I have the brain cells of a frog. No, I don't want to hurt him. I want to have him as my new friend. Because he looks so very, very cool. I know I've lost the people. I actually think it was just one more. I don't, I don't think I lost anything. It was, but I don't think it was there to start with. Yeah, I know. But just let him run about loose. I'm still trying to work out what the gunner on the outside is about with the projectron of the BSE site. Her I have not worked out what she's all about. Ash is alive. <laughs> She's alive and well. <laughs> She's standing at the side of the building with a projector on. Calm, don't annoy me. You, you, you stand there. You behave and I'll behave. I'll be a good guard. Good 
what would entice you to actually do? What would actually entice you? Oh, I don't know. I know you've been around for a few hundred years now, like, but jacked out. Why would you want to slow time down? Have you not seen enough of the world? We've collected an issue of Live and Love, Companion Pendant with Main Plus Five Resistance, Advice for Married Men. What? Is that part of the game? Enjoy your stay. Is that vanilla? I didn't even know that that one. That's the first time I've ever seen that guy from Dolls. And I've been playing this game for how many years now? Oh, it's just bad. Oh, it's just despicably bad. Right. I'll pick out everybody's going to turn on me. Whoever this brotherhood of steel is, I'm not buying that we come in peace more. Fine, don't. Like I care. Ah. I'm all right. Nobody's worrying about me. Why are you gonna? Why you got to give give me a fight? Can't you just let it be? Still kicking in two tw in twenty. What they seventy six Kenny Logan's, the Kenny Logan. Brilliant. Is that what I came down here for? <laughs> but who the hell's been attacking these ones? Sorry people, one second. Right, well, I haven't even been anywhere near the Institute yet. So that one's going to wait because I, I haven't even...
haven't been eating the other big green guy yet. So, what we can do is we can teleport ourselves back in. We can go to the trailer, and we can open up the trailer. No idea if we can teleport in here, though. Might not be the best idea. They'll probably all start shooting at me the next time I come through in this place. So, uh, we'll teleport in. We will get uh, Pavel's book, or his diary. Um, th yeah, thought so. And then, well, that's that. that that's basically, other than Prost, Far Harbour, and the bit in the Institute, because we haven't got Far Harbour open yet, um, because, well, I haven't even bothered building anything for the, uh, to do with the Institute, so. I'm cross because of Christ only. <laughs> ah, right, okay, okay, okay. Bugger, wish I had to actually go and check that out first. Oh well. Ah, we're not that far away. We're right over by where they are. Yeah, that's all back. I was all actually missing earlier, the blood print and all the blood. I do take a lot to put down. So here we are, guys.
that is Pavel's uh, diary. And if you're wondering why he was calling him a nuclear weasel, it uh, actually comes from the Russian accent when it tries to say Russell. It says Vesho. It sounds like weasel, basically, and the guy was basically calling him a communist. But that's where it was actually coming from, I would like to think. been in here. Is this not Wang's, uh, Wang's pillar? Sure, I've got every one of these open guys and dolls, and I believe I do. I believe I've opened them all up. We have got every single one of them. Mm. We have all of the keys and everything that goes with them. We have officially found every member of the team. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a guy that looks like he's doing flesh dance. I don't think that's what I'm supposed to say, but that was my answer. The guy looks like he's doing flash dance. Yeah, the 44. Um, now, I did miss a little bit of information here. Medical history, error, local files, medical events. This is what I missed.
<laughs> a doctor's taking Calmax. <laughs> Brilliant. What actually was wrong with Tripper? Whoa. <laughs> the doctor's addicted to Comax. <laughs> Brilliant. That's the guy who killed himself with alcohol. His missus had actually survived. Yeah, the fly stance. <laughs> I don't know why, I just looked at it sitting in the chair and I was like, fly stance dude! <laughs> he looks like he's doing fly stance. I'm just waiting for the water to come down on top of him. <laughs> Oh my god. Robot went nuts. Right. <clears throat> so, as you've seen, we have had quite a few fine Easter eggs in this. Um, like the little things in the hotel area and all the rest of it, and the art fly stand skeleton. Well, I've decided that's what I'm calling them, the fly stand dude. Um, so, um, some of you may remember there was a guy called a Ma Sergeant Major. Sadova, Sadova, so something or another. He's the guy that basically caught my um, attention that was under the grape. Okay, that Sergeant Major. Okay, that is very cool. Um, the Sergeant Major was basically sent in. Um, to get to the room of the big metal door that I was looking for the nitroglycerin for. Yeah, we got the key instead. But <laughs> I was hunting for the nitroglycerin. Now, he was told about a member who did not actually go out with the rest of his crew. And they went, you know, basically, if you actually read some of the vanilla stuff, and I have a video up on one of my lists, um, People of Fallout, I believe it's called, uh, you actually see that whenever things were really, really, really kicking off, the Americans started went rounding up anybody of Chinese descent and locking them up basically in what you would call concentration camps of reform, okay? Um, you've seen them in Point uh, Outlook, isn't that what you call that one in Fallout 3? Uh, you've seen them in the Big, uh, big Mountain, or as people call it, Big Empty. Uh, it's actually Big M T, as in M for Mother, T for Tango. Or Big Mountain is the full name of it. You, you find them there as well. Um, so these were basically camps where, the, the, where they basically just shipped all anybody of Chinese descent um, off to. Everybody was suspected 
and as I said, in part of the mod in uh, the BSE, they were interrogating Chinese people. Um, and this guy here, his name was Wang. Okay, I actually had messed that up now. I thought it was Pavel, it wasn't, it was Wang. And Wang was basically the guy that he was to check out while he was there. There was no proof that Wang was anybody whatsoever. He just happened to have Chinese descent and they were hunting him out for it. Okay. Um, now, while we were walking around, uh, we actually found a room with stairs going down underwater. When we got down under there, we found in a sump or a metal barrel, but metal bin, whatever it is you want to call it, we found a body. Um, with that body we actually found the key and it opened one of those trailers in front of us and in that trailer we found, I shall show you now everybody, all the way down here. And that uh, trailer two. This is Jack's. Now we know Jack was not actually killed by the soldier because the soldier was dead before he managed to get in. Who killed Jack? I have no idea. I'm gonna I'm gonna take a while. Stab in the dark. And I'm gonna say the people he was working with, but Jack was not actually part of this crew here. Okay. Um, and this actually is uh, is actually part of. Uh, it's year of the rooster basically as far as I'm aware and it is actually a good luck symbol in Japan like the eight is a good luck symbol or in China and other things are good luck symbols so um, yeah the, the, the guy was a nobody and I believe I think his crew uh, basically might have been the ones who bumped them off and dumped them down the bottom of it um, but it was not this crew. He was nothing to do with this crew. Um, and his radio was actually listed as being out for repair. Okay, uh, whenever you check the radio terminal, it's actually being, uh, it's actually listed um, as out for repair. So that's who he is. That's the story behind that body that's sitting down the bottom. Okay, he has got nothing whatsoever to do with this entire story. <laughs> <laughs> he is just there to confuse the living daylights out of you and have you wonder who the hell he is. And you do actually sort of think to yourself, well, you know, hmm, who's this guy? You know. So that's who he was, that's who that was. Now, the guy that was shot here is the guy that went off ranting in Latin and was basically taken down. And when you actually read his stuff, you see. He's going on about how there's this demon about and they're starting to turn evil and it's all because of this one guy, Fred, who is drinking a hell of a lot and all the rest of it. He's really starting to, like, you know, he, he's losing it massively. So whether he decided to go full on um, Puritan Christ, yeah, Catholic, uh, Christian and start wiping everybody out or whatever happened to him, whether he'd taken a load of drugs or what happened, I have no idea. But basically he came in and decided to start wiping everybody out and it took them a lot to actually put him down. The other guy, um, he did turn feral. Basically that's what happened to him. He had an overdose of radiation as you read back there on the computer. The radiation basically because it was just leaking through into his suit and he wasn't actually letting his friend help him. Somehow he managed to get exposed to radiation and it started to alter his mind. Um, and Pavel, who we actually found, he was actually calling him a communist and basically stating that he was he was the reason why he was getting radiation but Pavel wasn't getting radiation. The reason he was getting radiation was because he wasn't bothering to check a suit and he was refusing to let his friend help him out in the first place and these two actually used to be really close. Him and Len used to be really, really close. There does seem to be some weird connection to that mad room of insanity with those walls that just move but I have no idea what it is. I'm just going to put that one down to be in another red heron and me just running around like a spoon inside that room. Um, but basically, oh my god, there's a garden room. Die. Um, <laughs> and there's your answer. The garden gnomes were behind it all. 
It was the garden gnome. It was not the beast, it was the garden gnome. The garden gnome got the Murphy. This is what happened to Murphy. He was he was he was taken over by the garden gnome. He was taken over by the garden gnome and the teddy bear. It was the garden gnome and it was the teddy bear. I have no idea which of them is supposed to be the joker, by the way, people. But it was all the garden gnome and the teddy bear's fault. They're responsible for it because they're the most evil creatures in this entire game. And that's basically what happened there. <laughs> it was the garden gnomes and the teddy bears and they took them over and drove them insane. So that is your t that, that's basically sort of what happened. Unfortunately, there were some accidents like the guy who refused to wait and went up into the roof space and managed to electrocute himself that we found when we first came in because we seen the ladders. Um, two people basically, uh, some did actually sort of kill themselves and you know, other things along the way. But basically that is actually what happened, guys and dolls. So as I say, you are gonna have a good I would say probably a good seven hours if you stay away from those those tunnels. <laughs> if you go into those tunnels, you could be there for a longer time. From all you, but honestly, guys. But as I say, I am actually going to leave um, Michael's uh, Nexus page, the link to the maps, in the description for you, so you can actually go ahead, take a look in the description, and go, "Sweet happy days, this is the maps." All right. Um, it, it has been brilliant fun. It has been a blast. I have had a brilliant giggle. I have been rickrolled. I can't believe I actually got rickrolled. Um, I have found bar chocolate, bars of chocolate that have been inspired by some of the most random things under the sun. I am killing that dude. Boy, how dare he try and survive? Near you. Seriously, somebody needs to make me a mod where I can kill all these things. Um, as I say, there are still a couple of bits for me to find. Um, some are actually in uh, Far Harbor, one is in the Institute. Oh, and there is one up at Vault 111 as well. So check out up at Vault 111 too, guys, for another resource pack for you. So I will drop out here. Um, yeah, they have a habit of coming back. Them things are evil. Them and the teddy bears, they're just twisted. They're, they're not right. <laughs> they're just so wrong. They're, they're evil. They, they are evil. The same as snowmen, they're evil as well. <laughs> I've just got this, this this obsession in my brain that the things that the, the kids and all have found nice, I actually think are just evil. So I shall drop out. I shall say thank you very much to Michael for stopping by. This has been, I, I've, I've loved it. I have absolutely and utterly loved it. I would recommend just give it a blast. Have some fun, get lost. If you're on survival, I would advise you, bring a sleeping bag with you and carry along in your miscellaneous or your junk. Loads of shipments, they don't weigh anything. You can carry them about and you can build a bed anywhere. <laughs> and make sure you carry some food with you. Although I'm saying that once you get into a warehouse pipes, there's more food than you could shake a stick at in that place. So I shall say leaders, have fun, stay safe, keep gaming. This is Sentinel dropping out. I will catch you all on the flip side.